The Elbe Tunnel, in German called Elbtunnel, is the crossing of the river Elbe for the Autobahn 7, located in Hamburg, northern Germany. We are now driving northbound on the Autobahn 7 leading through Hamburg Waltershof. This is purely an industrial area. As of 2016, this part of the city had only two residents. To the right, there is the Kühlbrand Bridge, built in 1974. Its roadway is about 50 meters above the water, so large container ships will fit under the bridge. All along the horizon, you can see cranes of the container terminals of the port of Hamburg, which is the largest port in Germany and the 15th largest worldwide. But now back to the Elbe Tunnel. This tunnel was constructed from 1968 to 1975, with three bores containing a total of six autobahn lanes. It has a length of about 3.1 kilometers, or 1.9 miles. From 1997 to 2002, a fourth bore was constructed to meet the demands of increasing traffic. The Autobahn and the tunnel are equipped with electronic traffic signs. Today this is nothing special, but these systems have been in place since 1975. They serve three main functions. The tunnel operation office can change the direction of travel for each Autobahn lane to meet the demands of rush hour traffic. They can close a bore for nightly maintenance work, repairs, in case of an accident or when a fire is detected. And there is the vehicle height control system. When a vehicle with a height of more than 4 meters approaches the tunnel, all traffic in that direction of travel is stopped automatically so that the tunnel police can pull over that overheight vehicle and prevent any damage to the tunnel. We have now entered the tunnel through the south entrance of the original three bores. Here there used to be concrete tank barriers hidden above the roads that in war times could be exploded out of their resting places to make the Elbe tunnel inaccessible for the enemy. These barriers were removed in 2000. The tunnel vision makes driving difficult for some, for example they forget to accelerate when the tunnel ascends again. This is a common cause for traffic jams. For such cases, there is video surveillance as well as a speaker system that the tunnel police can use for announcements. Also, colored tiles have been installed right here on the walls to mark where the tunnel starts to ascend again and acceleration is needed. The three original bores have been modernized. First, from 2003 to 2007, one bore after the other was closed for removal of asbestos. And from 2009 to 2013, all safety-related equipment was replaced and upgraded. You can now clearly see the green lights indicating fire exits leading into separate escape tunnels. I still remember how the three old bores looked prior to modernization. They had a really interesting, somewhat creepy 1970s atmosphere to them, with white tiles on the walls, similar to what you'd use in a bathroom. Fire exits were indicated only by small signs lit by a dim light bulb. The electronic traffic signs used small incandescent lights instead of LEDs. The lighting of the road, however, had already been upgraded to high-pressure sodium vapor lamps back then. Originally, countless normal fluorescent tubes were used, which I'm sure looked quite awesome. The Elbe Tunnel, just like most of Germany's road infrastructure, is public property, so cars don't have to pay for using the tunnel. For trucks there is a toll on all of the Autobahn network that this tunnel is a part of. And now, after 3.1 kilometers, we exit the Elbe Tunnel and are now over in hamburg othmarschen which is a very wealthy residential part of the city. And oh my, look at the traffic to the left. This is not unusual on this section of the Autobahn. 
So that was a look at the Elbe Tunnel in Hamburg, northern Germany. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.